Hey everybody, I'm Jack. I'm Sebastian. And welcome to my house. Today we're gonna to be installing a spice rack in my kitchen. All right, so let me tell you why I wanna do a spice rack. So this is where I normally keep my spices, in these drawers. And it's a, it's a disaster. All the spices are on top of each other, the labels are always turned around, and there's not enough space to get at everything. And then the spice drawer has kind of bled over to this cupboard. And then I have a bunch of stuff in here loose and like bags. Um, it's a disaster. And it makes it really hard to find the things that I want. And something that I hate is not having easy access to the things that I want whenever I want them. Right, Sebastian? That's right. And so today we're gonna solve that. And I've decided that a spice rack is the only way to do it. But then there's another problem, is where do I put it? Because I don't wanna move my mixer, I don't wanna move my cutting boards, I don't wanna move my hanging shelf, I don't wanna go far away from the stove. I want easy access. So there's only one available wall in this whole place. Right there. The big challenge with this wall is that I know um, it's not just a, it's not just an empty wall on the other side. I've got the fridge and some different things going on here. I know I'm going to be dealing with electrical over here. And it's the kind of stu stuff that I can't just rely on a, on a regular stud detector to, to find out for me. So today I'm going to be using my Wallabot, um, which uses uh, radio frequency imaging technology to give me an accurate picture of what's on the other side of this wall. Uh, what potential problems I'm going to run into that could, that could hurt me, and where I can safely and securely mount my shelves. All right, so this is, this is the Wallabot. It's a little piece of hardware that um, attaches to my phone, sticks onto it, and this is, this is the part that will actually use the, the RF sensor to see what's under the wall. So I open the app. I introduce it to the, the area that I'm going to start imaging and I calibrate it, which is pretty easy. Calibration completed. So what's cool is this has a few different modes. The first one is a pan mode. And if I start on one side of the wall and just drag it, it's gonna give me a quick image of, of what's behind my wall. So to scan, you'll start on one end of the wall, hold this button down, and then just pull it over the wall. And you see that colored image. It starts to give you an overall view of your wall and the area that you're gonna be scanning. So I can take this scan, and you can see in the app, it has measurements in inches. If I wanted to, I could actually take, I measured a 60 inch spot, I could draw out a 16 inch spot on my wall and just use this. Um, you see at the 12 inch mark, it shows me that, that there's something I need to be careful of. So this is an area that I really wanna be careful and sensitive of uh, when I start to take on the wall. So already I know I'm gonna run into something right here. The next mode, I'll focus on this area since we know we found something, is an images mode. And it told me there was wood and metal around here. There it is, there it is. So right here, I've landed on a wooden stud. So I know, I know I've got wood right here, and then that problematic area, I can go over a little more. S look at that, Sebastian. There it is. We found it. So there's a pipe or wire here. There's something that could hurt us. So we want to be careful of that. I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to scan around and see if this is loose behind the wall. It looks to me like this is actually attached to the stud. I'm like Superman, Sebastian. I already made that joke, huh? Who else can see through things? My mother can see through my lies. At least she thinks she can. <laughs> so <laughs> the next mode that it uses is expert mode. And expert mode is my favorite. Now that I know that I have some things going on here, this actually gives me real-time data sends it back into the phone and gives me a pretty accurate image of what's behind the wall. These red areas, most likely this is my stud. And then as I go over, see how two different uh, anomalies, if you will, <laughs> two, different, two different things come up behind the wall. And I know this is most likely 
that that uh, electric line. So I want to stay away from this. I don't want to drill into it. I don't want to mess with it. I could electrocute myself. I could burn my house down. And a stud detector isn't going to give you this kind of information. So it's pretty cool. I don't really know of anything else that does this. So I'm going to start to mark off this area. I know, I know this is about where I want to put my shelf. So it looks like my stud starts here. Probably ends about here. And then that electric wire or pipe is running right along here. All right, so basically I want to avoid this whole area. I don't want to drill into here. I don't want to go around here. So I could either hang one side of my shelf over here, there's nothing, and know that I'm not going to hit anything. There's that stud. Man, it's crazy how fast it is, Sebastian. It's fast, man. Yeah. All right, so we've marked out our wall with the wall of Bob. We know where the danger spots are going to be. And uh, this is what I've decided to, to install. And so, um, so all these shelves have two points on the back. And so there's a fun little trick we can use to determine, um, to transfer the holes from, from my shelf to the wall and get them straight every time. So if you take some painter's tape and you line it up right here in the back holes, like so, like so. And Sebastian, on the edge of the tape, right in the center of the holes there, go ahead and make a little mark. See this, James? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You make a little mark there, you make a little mark there. And now what we have is a stencil. We can stick this on the wall where we want to hang it, and we'll know right where those holes need to go. Come on, let's go over to the wall. So my hole's going to go here and here, which should bypass the stud and electrical wire that I would have ran into and the other stud over here. So we'll just drill right in the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna hang this first shelf completely, see what we learn, and if we need to change anything, and then we'll hang the other two. So we'll pop these guys in there. Did it. Is it level? It's level if you put it right there. All right, now we just have to do this two more times. Second shelf went right on. We did it, Sebastian. What do you think? I think it looks great. Congratulations. Thanks. So there you have it, folks. Three floating shelves uh, we've hung. I'm going to get my spices loaded onto this. I'm super excited about it. I'm also super excited about the Wallabot, that I was able to use it to identify where the danger zones were going to be and avoid them completely. I got my shelf hung. I don't think either of us got electrocuted. Did you get electrocuted? No. Did we hit any water lines? No. No, we didn't. Be sure to check out other videos using the Wallabot and other fun DIY projects. Um, my heart is warm that you were here in my home with me today to install these, these uh, three shelves. And now Sebastian and I are going to load this thing up with some awesome spices. Sebastian, it looks great, man. Great job, Jack. It really turns the house into a home. I love it. And now I got all these empty drawers that I can put stuff in. I'm impressed.